everyone welcome to summer you know what that means we're going to be doing my spring empties video in this video i go over everything that i emptied out during the season of the spring i'll let you know what i thought about it and if i'm going to repurchase it or not if you do like it please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe all right let's get into it okay to be totally honest with you i don't have a lot of empties because i've been trying out a lot of new products so i might do something like a favorites or products that i recommend or products i tried out in the spring or something like that because like i said i just don't have a lot to report on as far as empties out okay the first product i just want to get straight out of the way and this is the aloe vera from the up and up brand this is target's brand it's just not the best product i like the cvs aloe vera much better but i like to use it for aftershave so i'm getting rid of it i've had it for a long time now i wanted to go over this because i don't really talk about shaving a lot on my channel but i did end up emptying out the chic extreme 5 this just comes with two razors and i emptied those out um, I liked this. I like the blue ones better. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but Schick gives really good razors for the price. And so if you haven't tried them before, whether it's men or women's, definitely give it a try. Next up is a long-standing favorite of mine. It's the Hadalabo UV White Gel SPF 50. I love this sunscreen. It's been my favorite for years and it still continues to be a favorite of mine. I have repurchased this many, many a times and I do continue to purchase this. So if you wanna check it out, I have a full video up here about this product, but I absolutely love it. Next up is a cleanser. This is the CeraVe Acne Foaming Facial Cleanser or Foaming Cream Cleanser. You can use this on your face or your body. I use it on both to control acne. It also has, you know, CeraVe's three essential ceramides, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. It's just a great product. You have to leave it on the skin for a couple of minutes to let it, you know, work, to let that benzoyl peroxide penetrate and actually do something for you. But pretty much this is just great at getting rid of the bacteria on the face and the body, which can contribute to, you know, odor from sweating or acne. So great product overall, I love it. I just repurchased it and it was like $16.79. It used to be $14.99, so things are going up, y'all. Next up is a vitamin that I want to talk to you guys about. This is the Nature Made Multi Vitamin. This is the tablets. Now, I finally emptied it out, you guys. I hated taking these. I prefer the gummies in the morning, uh, which is when I take my multivitamin. I just, I just find it a lot better for me personally to just munch on a, like two of the gummies in the morning. And these are bigger pills as well, so they don't swallow that easy. But it is a better deal to get the pills because you get 130 and you take one a day so it's 130 days whereas the gummies you get like 75 and you have to take two a day so it's it's definitely more cost effective to get a tablet but i prefer the gummies but i think everybody should probably be taking a multivitamin in the morning definitely ask your doctor but this just offers some things that you may not get throughout your foods throughout the day it's got like vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin A, niacin, vitamin B6, biotin, vitamin K, vitamin E. So some things that we may not get in our diets, it's great to have it in a quick, easy multivitamin. I also emptied out this Common Renew Serum from the, grant, from the brand Beautiful Energy. This serum, I really don't like the packaging. I find it to be fiddly. When you twist it this way, it's closed. When you twist it this way, it's open. It just, I find it doesn't really work the well that well the packaging which bothers me i just want simple packaging but this product is great especially if you do have dry skin it's very thick very softening it feels like a silicone type of cream which is great for just smoothing the skin kind of filling in those wrinkles um, you can use this morning or night it is marketed towards the nighttime to work really well with your retinol because uh, it is so like thick and moisturizing so give that a try if you're interested it is quite expensive but sometimes it's nice to have you know have a high-end experience all right next up is the hyalamide sub q skin you guys hyalamide supposedly is being discontinued i'm really sad to hear about that so we'll see if that's you know happening or not but this is like my favorite multi-peptide serum peptides can plump the skin hydrate the skin and you know in turn help with the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines i love this stuff it doesn't bother me anywhere i put it around my eyes on my face works well with my moisturizer so i still love it and i have a couple of them on hand so we'll see what happens with that next up another product from desium this one's from the ordinary it's their niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent I've talked about this before on my channel. I've made videos about this product. This is great product to have. Now, a lot of different moisturizers and serums and things like that 
will have niacinamide in them, so you don't necessarily need a standalone niacinamide product anymore because you're gonna be getting it in your other products. It's a good ingredient to have. I'm telling you right now, a lot of people say niacinamide's in everything, but there are times in my routine that there's no niacinamide incorporated, so it is a great ingredient to have. I just think it's becoming oversaturated in the market. I already have another one of these, but I go through them quite slowly because like I said, sometimes you don't need it. I also emptied out the Better Restore Serum. This is what it looks like. Probably can't even see the writing on it because it's black on black, but this is a really nice serum. It took a while to grow on me, honestly, at first. I just didn't really like it that much. But this serum is great to travel with because it's in a slim tube. So you don't have to worry about it spilling everywhere or breaking or anything like that. And it's just really compact. Lately when I've been traveling, I have not been checking in a bag. So space is, <laughs> you know, I have to conserve every little bit of space that I can get. So this was really good. Just hydrating and moisturizing and it, <laughs> it's weird, but it smells like... Thai laundry detergent. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really liked that. And then to go in with it as well, the Better Moisturizer. I love this so much. Probably my favorite moisturizer that I discovered of 2022. We'll see what happens. But this moisturizer, you guys, it literally just goes with anything. It doesn't matter what serum I use. It doesn't matter what face wash I use. It doesn't matter if I use retinol that night or not. Works so well. Love it around the eyes. Never bothers them. Doesn't have a scent to it. It's so moisturizing and softening on the skin, but it's not greasy. It's not matte either though. I'd say it's like a semi-matte or just normal skin finish. Definitely check those out if you are interested. They are also available on Amazon now, so that's really cool. I emptied out the Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream. This is a great cream from Olay. Really moisturizing, hydrating. You can use it morning or night, despite the name being night cream. This is great. It has a, like similar to the beautiful energy uh, serum that I was talking about. This has a very silicone consistency, so it is going to smooth the skin and kind of like seal everything over. I find that this actually works great under makeup or tinted sunscreens because it just kind of smooths the skin. So then the tinted sunscreen goes over really nicely and evenly and, you know, just blurs the skin. So I really like this. Um, this kind of has everything in it. So it's, it's also great to travel with because you don't have to bring a lot of different serums. This will give you the niacinamide, green tea, peptides, panthenol. It's just a really, really great product. So I recommend it. I continue to buy it and go through it. Last but not least is a cleanser. This is the Evidence Skincare ESK Calming Cleanser. This is, you know, really small travel size product that I really liked. Comes in a nice pump. I use this most recently on my travels and it's great because you don't have to worry about it breaking because it is plastic. It has the pump packaging, so it's not messy. You don't have to worry about it spilling in your bag or anything like that. I love this. This actually doesn't do a whole lot for the skin. It's very calming, very gentle. So it's not gonna take off makeup or things like that. But what it does do is it's a great second step cleanser. So use a, a cleansing balm or a makeup wipe, get everything off and then go in with this. It also leaves the skin feeling really smooth and soft. So I really like it and I definitely recommend it. Check it out. I'm gonna be repurchasing another one because um, I think it's so phenomenal, especially for travel. It's not something I use every single day. It's just not cost effective to do it that way, but it's definitely great to have when you're traveling. And ESK is really cool because you will go to their website and you'll fill out a questionnaire and they'll recommend certain products for you from their line because they have a ton of different stuff, but I really liked this. So those are all my empties. I didn't have a whole lot, unfortunately, um, but I've been testing out a lot of stuff. So Maybe my next empties will have a lot more stuff in it. But yeah, that was everything. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Thanks so much for your time and I hope you have a great day.